Thanks, Chris. Yeah, as we have reported, the trash pickup company has been dealing with that bankruptcy filing and now staffing shortages because of COVID-19. But for the city and for city council, it all boils down to this. They want better service. And of course, that's going to take some time and it's probably going to come with a new provider. I'm talking several months for this to happen. And of course, it comes at a price. The frustrations with Red River Waste Solutions continue. Fort Wayne resident Charles Farron says his full recycling bin was hit by a car this weekend, spilling its contents everywhere because it wasn't picked up on time. I've never been more frustrated with trash pickup in my life. Uh, I say I've lived here 40 years, never had a problem until Red River came in. Brighter days might be on the way, though, as the city is looking to ditch Red River by the middle of the year for a new trash provider. We'll have the ability to compensate Red River to stay in business through a transition period that would permit us to select a provider of our choosing. The city filed a $1.7 million claim against Red River's performance bond, citing poor service. Once settled, that money would go toward paying Red River for the time being. That's not good enough for Councilman Rossiel, who doesn't want to see more money going back to Red River and still have late and missed pickups. For it not to include what Red River is going to do better for us, really just felt like a missed opportunity. Yale says he was under the impression the administration had emergency providers ready to step in after last month's Solid Waste Advisory Board meeting. Instead, he says the plan is pay a ransom to to our captor Red River and, uh, and, and expect things to go better for the next six months. Just bizarre. Hafner says Red River claims it's a day behind on pickups, but that's not what Farron sees at the end of his driveway. Yesterday's trash was not picked up. That's what's sitting there now, along with part of last week's. Hafner says over the next few weeks, he expects things in bankruptcy court to settle down and also for the city to start receiving bids for a new trash pickup provider. And like I said, that process could take several months before someone is selected. And that's because no one is ready to immediately come in and start picking up the trash. They need to get their equipment, staffing and trucks all worked out before starting. Reporting live at Citizen Square, I'm Kelsey Mannix, Fox 55 News.